B cubed, the Bailey bit box, is my entry in Bailey's Build a Box competition at sawmillcreek.org. The contest rules state that the Bailey logo must be incorporated into the theme of the box, and that's certainly the case with this box. The logo makes up the sides of the box, but also influences the shape of the cover. The top curved edges extending side to side and corner to corner to make a dome shaped cover. Likewise, the bottom of the box is curved and domed and features padded feet for support. The logo is embedded in the finger grip for the cover. To give an industrial look, the top features a diamond plate design. But that's no ordinary design, that's Bailey logo diamond plate design. The box features hidden articulated hinges to allow the cover to be opened and closed smoothly. Of course the box is functional, housing my router bits. The back rows of bits are angled forward for easy access, and the bit tray is removable. This allows the box to be repurposed if desired. My first design idea was to place the Bailey logo on the lid of a box, but that didn't really incorporate the logo into the theme of the box. Instead, what if I used the logo as the sides of the box? The curved edges of the logo would add a lot of interest to the shape of the box. The angle of the sides means that the logo would tilt outward, and the curve in the sides means that the logo would have to be cupped or dished in an interesting way. It seemed natural to extend to the top edges from corner to corner of the box in a smooth way and produce the shape for the top. The bottom of the box took on a similar domed shape with feet added to ensure stability. With a name like Bailey Industrial, I thought to incorporate an industrial looking diamond plate theme in the top, but no ordinary diamond plate. This is Bailey logo diamond plate. The top was carved on both sides of the board, one side at a time in the CNC machine. While the four top frame pieces could have been cut out conventionally using a bandsaw, a template and a pattern routing bit, and a rabbiting bit, it's quicker and easier to do it on the CNC. It was fairly easy to import the Bailey logo into the designer software. The software can use black and white images as height maps. So the first step was to convert the logo to black and white. With white representing the highest point and black representing the lowest point of the carving, the logo could have been used virtually as is, but I did make some edits, for example, to add some draft to the lettering. After importing the black and white image to make a pattern, it's time to start the project by setting the size of our project board. Next, we go fetch the pattern and place it on the board using centering tools. We then outline the pattern and create a carve region using a domed shape. In this case, we need to invert the dome, change the pattern to additive so that it lays on top of the curved surface, and then set the height or the amount of curvature that we desire. Time to make some sawdust. I've got my project board loaded on a sled and that's going to feed through the machine something like a planer, although it's going to feed much more slowly. This operation is a raster carve using a tapered 1 16th inch diameter ball nose bit. Before cutting the sides of the box, I made a test mule using some scrap plywood to make sure I had the correct angles. With the correct miter angles verified, the sides were cut and test fit together. The bottom was carved 
and cut out using the table saw. The bottom was trimmed a bit at a time and test fit. The frame was assembled to the top using detailed biscuits at the sides and at the mitered corners. Due to the compound curves of the top, standard hinges would not work. I took inspiration from a similarly shaped trunk lid to make a hinge for my box. Using some scrap wood and hot melt glue, I experimented with the proper geometry for the hinge that I would need. Then it was back to the CNC designer software to draw the vector cuts needed to cut out these hinge parts. These parts were cut and drilled on the CNC with a 1 8 inch diameter straight cutting bit. Brass tubing was pressed into the arms to serve as bushings. Minwax stains were used on the logo and a couple of coats of polyurethane applied to the whole box with the top coat being applied from a spray can. V-cubed, the Bailey bit box.